This is my first trip to China ever. I've traveled a lot of different places, mostly into Latin America, but uh, this trip exceeded my expectations. We probably have close to five to six hundred graduates uh, of, uh, from China, uh, living in China today, who studied here at FIU. So I had the opportunity to meet about 10% of them uh, during, the, during the visit, uh, particularly at John Lim's restaurant. They're energetic, they're grateful to FIU for the educations that they received, and they're an added dimension of who we are as, as a university that is globally engaged. There's no doubt in my mind that uh, within years these students will be very successful. They're just starting in their careers now. And given the level of entrepreneurship, given the level of energy, they're going to give back not just to their communities, but they'll give back and help FIU be a lot stronger. A number of our academic units, whether it's public administration or our College of Business Administration and certainly our School of Hospitality, are looking at expansion opportunities. So uh, I'm excited about that because having been there and spent some time there, the conclusion that I draw from, from the first time that I've traveled there is that the Chinese are bringing their A-game to the 21st century and that we better be prepared for that. We do have partnerships with Qingdao. University and we in fact have sent students to Qingdao University and we're expecting six or eight Chinese students from Qingdao to come here in the fall. Uh, the city of Qingdao like Tianjin is, is a major city. The city of Qingdao is, is very similar to Miami, a beautiful port and in, incredible beauty in the city of Qingdao with, with sculpture uh, right on the port. So I, I would recommend either Tianjin or Qingdao uh, in, a, in a heartbeat to, to our students. In Qingdao the the whole city administration is very anxious to see the FIU touch on their new wine and food festival and they've asked our School of Hospitality Management to lead the, the city of Qingdao wine and food festival. So we're, we're really pumped about that and, and really happy that we have that legitimacy in China. It's a real testament to the work of our faculty. In the final analysis, China is important because its population is so big, its economy is so dynamic, it's the, the energy of the Chinese people is going to ensure that China has a very strong position in, in job creation, in entrepreneurship, and in the world of work in the 21st century. So I think it's important for our students to become familiar with that.